in this lesson i will tell you about assigning properties by object or by layer so right now in this geometry all of these objects are assigned to some layers and you can see all the list of layer in this layer drop down if you click on any object then its corresponding layer will be visible in this layer drop down and here is the layer which is a shaft assigned to this object now when you go to layer properties manager so let's click on this layer properties manager and open the layer properties manager palette here you'll see that this a shaft layer has red color which is obviously assigned to this line object and also the line type is hidden and that line type is also assigned here so it will directly inherit the properties of layer but you can override this by assigning the property directly to the object so for that let's first hide this layer properties manager now we already know that this object belongs to a shaft layer so let's select it then right click and choose this select similar option so this will select all of the objects which are quite similar and we have all of these objects also which are assigned to the same layer but we will not select them we will select only these objects and we will change the assignment of line type for these objects so once your selection is complete go to this properties panel and from this properties panel go to this line type drop down and now here we have some of these lines so we are not going to select any of these lines let's click on other and now click on load button in order to load the line type which is not available in the list now let's scroll down and let's select this center line click on ok and the center line has been added to our list so now let's select all of these objects again select similar and now go to this center line from this drop down and click on it now when you press escape key you'll notice that all the selected objects have their different line type assignments and in this case the center line has been assigned to these objects but still the object is on a shaft layer and the layer assignment for a shaft clearly indicates that we still have hidden line type assigned to these objects on these layers you can not only do this for line type you can change other properties as well for example in this case the color has been assigned as red so let's auto hide this select the object and select similar now go to color from this property panel and change it to green and you'll notice that although the objects are still on a sharp layer but the color for these objects has changed to green in a similar way you can change layer assignment for line weight so let's click on this line weight button on status bar so this will display the line weight for all the objects now you can see that the boundary walls have some line weight let's select any of these walls and the corresponding layer will be visible so these are on a wall layer let's select select similar from this contextual menu and all of these wall objects will be selected these two objects are not selected so let's select them manually now the wall has been selected and we'll change a line weight to default value so let's click on default and press escape key now you can see that line weight has been turned on but still the line weight is shown as the normal line weight and when you expand this layer properties manager and go to a wall layer you'll notice that line weight is 0 0.40 mm we have not changed the line weight assignment for the layer but still the object properties are changed on the object so this is what overriding the properties by object is so you can override these properties for each and every object in the drawing not only that you can also match properties of one object type to other for example let's say that we want to match properties of this line type for this wall line so for that we can select match properties from this properties panel so let's select match properties now click on the source object from where you want to copy the property so we want to copy the properties of this line and now let's click on the destination object which is this wall and this wall as well and this wall as well so you'll directly notice that not only the line type but also line weight line color and the layer assignment is changed according to the source object let's press escape key and now when you click on this line you'll notice that this is on a shaft layer which was the layer assigned to these objects so let's press escape key to exit this 
and now let's close this layer properties manager as well now in order to see the properties of these objects you can use list command so the list command can be seen on this expanded properties panel so when you select it here you'll see this list command let's select list now let's check the layer assignment and other properties of these newly assigned objects so let's click on this line and press enter now here we have all the properties which are associated with that line and here you can clearly see that the layer a shaft is assigned to this object color is three which is green and the line type is center line along with other properties related to the coordinates of this line so now let's click outside to exit this list dialog box so this was all about overriding the properties and assigning it to the objects by layer or by object in the next lesson i'll tell you about managing long list of layers with the help of group and property filter